Uh, classy is a show of blind drawings of secretaries I made. Those were the rules, blind drawings and secretaries. Then the story develops obviously not towards what I drew, but like who would draw such a thing. And that was then the next point that I got to and uh, it turns out it's me. The idea with the blind drawings is like in the end the whole idea or concept of it is already done before I even draw anything, before I do any subject matter and that it's girls is like it's because a very classic subject and now it fits into some other story but like the, the concept of the blind drawing is this of um, creating ugly lines and to stand 100% for it. It's kind of, that's what connects it in my mind to the self-help. It's just uh, everything is right. That's why you can close the eyes while you do it. I don't want to give that, that idea of tameness or, or diligence. I'm, I'm more into enjoyment and like to dare to make a, a statement. So that's the, the feeling I would like to carry. That's when I broke with the, that's when I broke with the clean drawing. And the first ones I did were also the first blind drawings I ever made were about that. They were called uh, Close your eyes and you will see what you may do, which is what you tell to children in Germany. And, like you see nothing, you can't do anything. And then the idea of that was okay, I close my eyes and I draw myself in a car and naked cops carrying me to the beach. And at the beach they're waiting and they, they built a they built a pyramid of Raffaello. Raffaello season just began. And I arrive and get fed by, by beautiful women. They put so many Raffaellos in me and I don't get nauseous. And the day passes. And this is all done with your eyes closed. So it's kind of proving that saying wrong. Take this, parents. <laughs> like that. No, but I don't think I avoid it at all. I think I provoke beauty in different things. Because, um, if you go for beautiful drawing, it's easily, it turns into a cliché of beauty, which is in the end not really beautiful. Like if you Google beauty, you're not going to find what you really find beautiful apart from maybe beautiful human faces because we're tuned into that. That's how it goes. But like then the most beautiful have some sort of a defect. So I think that the biggest beauty springs from defect and from the unexpected and that's why I try to find it like in the dirt or like in uh, unexpected places and I try to provoke it differently. But I am very much about beauty and, and harmony and uh, obviously of course I, I, I try and strive for those things. It's over, it's over the top but also because they have like massive tits but then their arm is bent six times or something. There's something on, on the side, it's like not a it's not clean cut. I also don't find it at all sexist sex that I do, but it's like kind of uh, similar to the thing before. It's like a, it's an odd beauty out of freakness. So I think the reason for there being a lot of sex to it is because it gets punched into my head the whole time anyway, and it is a massive role in society. And always, I mean, it's so in our face, but at the same time. The, the border of what is okay and what is not okay is so strange and like if you had to explain it to someone who didn't grow up among humans it would be very difficult to point at what is right and what is not and why you can't really find the reasons. So I try to just uh, spit it back out, that confusion.